Okay, let's, um, we're done with problem 5-2. Let's go to another problem 5-3. I like this problem. Physics tweet. <laughs> um, this is a problem inspired by a tweet, a tweet from uh, Fermas, Fermas Library. I'm crediting it there because they've shown this um, the solution for to this problem. It's really cute. I find it cute. <laughs> okay, so we have a particle of mass m that's sliding down an inclined plane of, um, of height h. Then at the bottom of the incline, the particle is launched by some angle alpha. So using only the energy obtained by this particle, na launch siya. So parang naging canon, tapos na launch siya at some angle, and then it reaches some r. And then um, what we now have is to show that the range reached by the particle is independent of the gravitational acceleration. Ano consequence not? A consequence not, if you do the experiment in Earth and you do the same experiment in Moon, you will get the same range. Okay? Yon, yun yung maganda sa kanya. Of course, if air resistance is there, syempre medyo may konting variation or may konting um, um, deviation sa, um, sa makukuha mong value. So, but nonetheless, the point here is it's independent of G. Okay? I'll be giving you a minute to solve this problem and I'll be giving, I'll be showing you the solution after you solve this problem. Okay? Okay. Okay? Um, uh, two minutes have elapsed to solve this problem. Again, you have a particle of mass and the sliding down an inclined plane of height h. So, uh, ilang states ang kailangan mo rito para, ma, para, uh, para ma-identify mo lahat ng kailangan? Ilan, ilang states to? Ilang states yung kailangan mo rito? Let's have three states. Kasi yung first state ay yung, so state one is that the particle is at the incline, at the top of the incline. And then state two is at the bottom of the incline. And then state three is um, the particle is at R. So this is state. Okay, clear ba tayo doon? Clear ba? Yes. Clear ba tayo rito? Okay. Now, okay, yung, um, you can use two energy conservation equations, but for, since wala tayong time, yung, yung second degree energy conservation, shortcutin natin. Ang gagawin natin, sa hanapin na lang natin using the range formula, kasi para mas madali. So, okay. Now, um, using conservation of energy, conservation, um, using COM, conservation of mechanical energy for states one and two, we see that, ano mangyayari? Ano mangyayari dyan? So we have E1 equals E2. And thus, this means that, ano yung, so we have one half m v1 squared plus m g y1 equals one half m v2 squared plus m g y2. Our v2 here is the initial velocity of the particle um, um, pag nalaunch siya in the projectile, as a projectile. So th this v2 here is the initial velocity uh, of the projectile. Ang gulo na sulat ko. Yeah. So now, what can we say about the initial um, velocity of the particle. I, I should say the velocity of the particle at the top of the incline. Gumagalaw ba siya at the top of the incline initially? Gumagalaw ba siya? No. Obviously, hindi, di ba? So, this is zero. Therefore, pero what's y1? y1 is just equal to what? If we will assume that this is zero, so, uh, buti na lang yung setup na siya ng coordinate system dito. So, y equals zero is at the, uh, at the initial position of the, of the projectile. And hence, um, y1 now here is just h, implying that mgh is just equal to what? So this also vanishes by our coordinate system. It's just equal to 1 half m v2 squared, cancel ang m, and therefore the velocity v2 is just square root of 2gh. Okay? Clear ba tayo dito? Clear ba? Okay, this is clear. Now, um, for... um. Now recall the equation for the range. Ano formula natin for range? R is just equal to what? So, ano yan? For those taking LE1, <laughs> divide to IV naught squared sine 2 alpha over G tama. 
Tama? Opo. Tama, di ba? Okay. Where alpha is the angle between the initial velocity vector and uh, the ground and the uh, and the positive x. Therefore, if I substitute my v naught square here, I have two g h quantity. Um, the square root, so I square it, mawala yung square root, sine to alpha, all over g. The g will cancel, and therefore, the range is again independent of g. This is just 2h sine of 2 alpha. It is only dependent on the initial height of the object and the angle for which it is touched. The one galing. So, if you do the experiment in Earth and in Mars, you should do, you should, um, Assuming that there, are no, there is no air resistance, you will get the same value of range or the same distance. Yes? Yes, ba? Questions? Oh, oh. Nice. Okay. Yes. 